So, Damien, we're uh, into the first stage of the derby. You have three runners, one on the Thursday and two on the Saturday, if that's correct. Yes, that's it. It, um, it could have worked out worse logistically. We could have won each night. But as it is, as you say, we've won tomorrow night. We're actually getting ready to go early in the morning. We, 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 um, we leave the can in the morning at 5 o'clock. We get the 7 o'clock ferry out of Belfast to Stranraer. I think we're scheduled to be in Stranraer for 10. And then we drive down to Toaster uh, tomorrow night. It's uh, Savannah King, formerly known as Those Days Are Gone. Uh, Kevin Booth, we purchased him before the draw last week. And uh, he's a May 19, so he's just, just gone to... He's been a young, young, strong, developing dog. And we'd be hopeful of a, of a forward, forward running from... Uh, I, think, I think the 500 metres would not be an issue for the dog. Um, he's a he's a real strong running dog. Done thirty forty and six hundred in Shelburne, which takes a bit of doing. Uh, it took a bit of time in the grade he was running to get him to find his feet. But I, I, I'm a lot more happier with the dog now than I was earlier on in his career. So it, listen, it's, it's, it's great to have him to look forward to. Um, we repeat the trip then Saturday morning. We have the machine and unlock unlock. Uh, the machine finished second in the Kirby. Uh, again, an April, he's an April 19, so he's just gone to. Um, we forecasted this route for him last December. Uh, we thought he showed potential, and we took him over to the Puppy Derby. He's had two or three, whatever, two or three runs round Toaster last December. Uh, I think it'll stand by him. Uh, the knowledge of the track, the knowledge of the circuit, I think that will stand by him. He's a lot different dog than he was last December. He's a lot stronger. Um, he had his time off during the winter. He's developed. He's matured. Uh, the races in Limerick have definitely brought him on. He's, he's, he's definitely fitter now than he was before Limerick started. Having said that, we give him, uh, we give him the four or five weeks off. He trialled in last week, 29.48. I was pleased with 29.48 after being off the track for four or five weeks. Uh, he got a couple of gallops this week and he, he's, he's good to go for Saturday night. Um, I'd be very, very hopeful for uh, a very forward running of, of performers of the machine. Um, the funny thing is, since since the final of the Conan Kirby, we've sold half of them to a, a, a new owner to the kennel. So it'd be interesting to see how he performs for him. Yes, Unlock and Locks, an exceptionally talented day. She's only after having a litter of pups, seven bitches to Pistana, uh, born on January the 15th, I think the date was. Um, she's uh, just just an outstanding animal, brilliant attitude. Uh, we started galloping her back, very ambitious of us even to consider uh, entering it in the derby. So we took her over last week for a trial and to say that we were pleased with 2970 would be an understatement. Um, we wouldn't be going with her on her own, but as we're there with two or two others, we, uh, we felt that she was definitely worthy of her place in the van. So uh, we have her, we have her entered. She is in great form. She will be there on Saturday night. But listen, she's drew a real tough heat. You know, if we were just to finish third for the first two or three rounds, we'd be over the moon with her. You know, I do. I would honestly believe that. You know, if she got over a couple of rounds, you'd see a completely different bitch in two or three weeks' time. You know, that's only natural to say that because, like, when you've been off the track since I think it was last October, and we're now in June, you know, it's 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 ambitious. But I know, and a lot of people in Ireland would know that if she was on our game and everything was going well, she would give it a big rattle. Like she has the legs, and once you have somebody with that ability. It'd be foolish of us not to enter. Like our sister finished second in it last year in Nottingham. And uh, I would be hopeful that Unlock and Lock could maybe go one better if, um, hopefully, could go one better if everything went her way. Yes, definitely. So, uh, looking at all your three, that they will all relish every metre, won't they? And they'd pro probably prefer another 50 metres on top, I guess. Oh, absolutely. Uh, the, the, the 500 metres and round to the pick, round to the drop isn't going to concern them one bit and um, listen, Toaster is what Toaster is you do want a strong running inside inside runner, that's ideally what you want uh, strong running tick 
inside running and locks not inside but the machine would be inside and those days are gone would be inside so listen we are we are we are delighted to be involved you know it's great to go back to toaster it's great for star sports to be sponsoring the event so um it only comes around once a year and it's it, it's just it's just great to be there and to have something that you can actually you know get up in the morning and go and, and challenge in it it's um it's something we work towards every year and it's great to be there one last question for you then the irish i think it's generally accepted the irish challenge this year northern or southern irish is going to be very very strong um if i was to say you get a choice of one other irish dog to stick in the van who who would it be late tornado yes absolutely i would be i i would just love to have Nate tornado in the van um yes the 500 meters may test him but um it's a, a, an exceptional dog, formerly owned by Ollie Bray, now owned by Larry Dunn. Um, you know, an exceptional dog. He's been off the track a good bit too, so he would love to get a round or two under his belt before you'd see the real Nick Tornado. But he's the one dog that I would like to have in the van with me. And no, no, no better man than Larry Dunn to be to be steering him either. Listen, um, an exceptional talent has done it all in the industry. Has done it all. Uh, knows what it takes, which is important. And uh, the dog, if the dog is lucky, which he, which we understand in an event like this, you need luck. Yeah. And if the dog's lucky, I have no doubt he has the ability if, if everything goes well for him. So um, the right man in the corner, the right dog, and if he has luck, you wouldn't know.